A million and a half people have turned out for San Francisco Pride 2013. It's the 43rd annual Pride celebration, and this year the LGBT community has something very special to celebrate. Marriage was on the minds of just about everyone at San Francisco's record-setting Pride Parade this year. From the customary parade opening Dykes on Bikes, to this group of revelers dressed up as the United States Supreme Court justices. Their recent decisions paved the way for gay marriages to resume in California just two days later. Are going to get married now? Absolutely. <laughs> We're already engaged. <laughs> People of all sexual, political, and religious orientations marched in the parade, from the minority leader of the U.S. House of Representatives to San Francisco's police and fire chiefs. We're just as happy as everybody else that it turned out the way that it did. We're celebrating pride, we're celebrating equality, it's great. Also supporting the cause, some very high profile members of the Bay Area Jewish community. Facebook's Mark Zuckerberg on a cable car and San Francisco supervisor, Mark Leno. Hatikva, Hatikva, we gotta give them hope. And hope's been realized this week here in this country and for this state. We've got to make sure that everyone has it everywhere. And Jewish community has been with us from day one. It, as a Jewish man, warms my heart to know that my folks told me what equality was all about, and we can live it. The parade wound up at a big party outside San Francisco City Hall, which opened up for wedding ceremonies as soon as the courts ruled them legal. It just seemed fitting that it was Gay Pride weekend, that we just have our doors open. Friday night, Saturday, and Sunday. Brooke Collins and Whitney Nathan, now Brooke and Whitney Nathan Collins, have been together for three years. We always said that if the Supreme Court said it was okay for us to get married in California, since this is where we fell in love, that we would do it here. More than a thousand people descended on San Francisco City Hall over the weekend, some simply to apply for marriage licenses, others to tie the knot. San Francisco's first Pride Parade took place in 1970. There were few places then where people could be openly gay. Now, 43 years later, it's clear that times have changed. This is Rachel Silverman for JN1 in San Francisco.